beautiful afternoon to you and it's indeed a pleasure to know you are there. Many thanks for joining me on Business Trends. Today I am Izinne Egasi and you are very much welcome. Welcome back. You're watching Business Trends. Now, on our first uh, trending story, the Standards Organization of Nigeria and uh, Cable Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Wednesday in Lagos said their collaboration on tackling cloning and, of course, production of substandard products is yielding results. Speaking on the first experiment uh, with the private sector on quality assurance, Director General Standards Organization of Nigeria, Osita Aboloma, disclosed that the agency have seized over 20 containers of fraudulently labeled uh, made in Nigeria cables and wires. Details coming up shortly. The Standard Organization of Nigeria and Cable Manufacturers Association of Nigeria Wednesday in Lagos said their collaboration on tackling cloning and production of substandard products is yielding result. Speaking on their first experiment with the private sector on quality assurance, Director General Standards Organization of Nigeria Osita Aboloma disclosed that the agencies have seized over 20 containers of fraudulently labeled made in Nigeria cables and wires. Aboloma stated this during the facility tour of locations fraudulently disguised as residential apartments at Babalola Ige Street, a Shibiri or Joe local government area of Lagos State. We will not allow dumping of substandard cables to take advantage of investment in Nigeria, whether labor made in Nigeria or otherwise. After our meeting, we came out to you and we informed you that if you see anything unwholesome, say something to us. So, so far so good. You saw something unwholesome through your collaboration with you and other sister uh, security agencies. We've been able to discover this um, volume of human uh, and substandard fraudulently labeled made in Nigeria cables, which is a direct from effort. Aboloma, while commending the efforts of Kamen at ensuring these products are removed from the Nigerian markets, warned against the importation, marketing, supply, and use of substandard wires and cables in the country. He also reiterated his agency's commitment to ensure prosecution of individuals and destruction of products found to fall short of standard guidelines of production and importation. Prosecute you when you fall below. Be you a member of Kamen or. Or any other organization. But the truth is, let us work together. We have a common goal. Safety of Nigerians, quality, and the value for money for customers, and return on your investment. There are no two ways about it. We'll keep working with you, we'll value you because you are one of our best products. We'll nurture you from nothing to something. Nigeria is proud of you. Anybody that will want to make your business unsuccessful or that will allow inflows of substandard uh, and hazardous electrical cables into Nigeria to compete with your world class products. It becomes a threat to all of us. On checkmating of standard product, Managing Director Coleman Wires and Cables George Onofo stated that the lives of Nigerians are important and as such, individuals should be careful when purchasing these products. Uh, the safety of lives of Nigerians is, is priority as well as the safety of people employed by Nigerians in the cable industry. Uh, as the DG has earlier said, uh, a good thing is that they have nurtured us together with, with our partnership over the last, I'll say, almost 50 years that we've been in cable production in Nigeria more. Uh, we've had good partnership with the SON, and today we're proudly stated as one of the main industries to say made in Nigeria is what to buy.
some pledges to carry the fight against substandard product to a logical conclusion. <laughs> All right, up next is the Standards Organization of Nigeria Facility Tour in Lagos, where the Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Haji Abubakar, restated the commitment of the federal government to enhance the quality of life of Nigerians through healthy living and, of course, authenticity of made in Nigeria products. Here's the report. The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Haji Abubakar, on Thursday in Lagos, restated the commitment of the federal government to enhance the quality of life of Nigerians through healthy living and authenticity of made in Nigeria products. Haji Abubakar stated this during a facility tour of the Standards Organization of Nigeria Laboratories in Lekki and Ogwa, respectively. While inspecting different sections of the laboratories, Haji expressed satisfaction over the huge investment put in place to get the machines up and running and the number of laboratories ready to be commissioned. I think there should be labs almost everywhere so that SMEs can access them. Um, and I also <coughs> believe that there should be enough room for research and development so that those that do not meet the test have uh, opportunity to understand what is actually needed so that the goods are not rejected after being tested by SON. As our supervisors, they are like our mirrors to assess how far we've gone with our mandate of quality assurance to testing and standardization and to know what we need, more particularly in terms of our office space and uh, the new labs uh, in She assured that government is working on shoring up the number of laboratories in the country in order to create room for research and development which will ultimately make product tracing and testing by SMEs easy and in line with globally accepted standard. She commended the steps been taken by the Standard Organization of Nigeria at tackling challenges of ensuring made in Nigeria products meet up international standards and best practices. <laughs> Well, welcome back. You're watching Business Trends right here on Galaxy Television. Now, uh, the Director General of the Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabueze, met the disclosure in Abuja while interacting with civil society organizations on issues of fraudulent budgetary provisions in uh, 2018 budget alleged by the civil society organizations. He told the CSOs that every assumption raised in the fiscal document was properly considered before presentation, describing their allegations as unfounded. Details in a moment. Do stay with us. <music> Director General of the Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabweze, made the disclosure in Abuja while interacting with civil society organizations on issues of fraudulent budgetary provisions in the 2018 budget alleged by the civil society organizations. He told the CSOs that every assumption raised in the fiscal document was properly considered before presentation, describing the allegations as unfounded. Akabweze also explained that the budget office has been conservative in the oil price projection, saying there will be a buffer for non-oil revenue in order to sustain production at the level projected. He urged the visiting CSOs and Nigerians not to panic as government is doing all it could to sustain the current economic indices for development. The budget office also answered concerns and budget paddling suspicious and wasteful items in the budget, as well as nuclear areas in the expenditure plan. And in the 2018 budget, remember I said earlier that we are now capturing um, funding by you know, development partners you know, in the budget, as well you know, the fund and the expenditure. Some of the issues raised include how realistic is a 2.3 million barrels per day crude production capacity, the $45 oil benchmark, 
and the interest rate of 12.42% as well as GDP rates of 3.5%. Finally on the program, the United States uh, Consul General John Bray has of course restated the commitment of the U.S. government to support Nigeria as it continues to find new avenue of economic growth and development. More details coming up shortly. Bray stated this Monday in Lagos at the Nigerian Stock Exchange where he performed the ceremonial closing gong to officially end the day's trading. I know that last year was a very successful year here at the exchange and it was ranked as one of the top uh, five performers. And projections indicate that 2018 will be an equally impressive year. Let's hope that's the case. For the growth of this exchange means more private capital is available in the Nigerian market for business expansion and new startups. And this translates into greater prosperity for Nigerians and growth and employment opportunities across the board. I'm here to, to express the U.S. government's deep commitment to both Nigeria's private sector and economic growth. The U.S. government maintains a limited number of binational commission uh, relationships with sovereign nations. These relationships or these binational commissions demonstrate the highest degree of friendship, trust, and cooperation. Nigeria is one of those nations. On sustaining the growth momentum and strengthening bilateral relations between the two countries, Bray says the U.S. Niger commercial and investment dialogue was designed to develop stronger business networks between. I would like to say, you know, it's, it's our concern and our interest is for the Nigerian economy to grow. And fundamentally, I look back, I look at sort of the U.N. projections for population growth. You know, Nigeria is projected to be the third most populated, populated country in the world by 2050. That's more populated than the United States. Okay, without capital investment, without economic growth, there's not going to be enough jobs for everybody. This is all about employment, and this is about prosperity. This is about making Nigerians wealthier and about jobs. The United States is the largest foreign investor in Nigeria, with U.S. foreign direct investment concentrated largely in the petroleum mining and wholesale trade sectors. U.S. exports to Nigeria include wheat, vehicles, machinery, oil and plastic. Nigeria is eligible for preferential trade benefits under the African Growth and Opportunity Act. And that's all we have on our business trends for today. At like come your way next time. Keep patronizing made in Nigeria products. I am Izzy Egasi. Bye for now.